Hi, I'm Steven, co-founder and CIO at Quantumize, and you're watching the Quantumize Global Markets AM Preview. Global stocks are declining this morning after the EU and the Bank of England cut forecasts for economic growth. Canaccord stock strategists are out arguing this morning that while earnings growth is expected to decelerate in calendar 2019, growth will be enough to support further gains in U.S. stocks. Their argument is built on the observation that there is a direct positive correlation between the direction of earnings and the directional price moves in the U.S. stock market. The VIX is little change this morning, currently sitting at 16.3, with EEM and Apple out of the money calls and HYG out of the money puts, some of the most heavily traded options in the U.S. pre-market this morning. MyX Options is launching options on the Spikes Index, a low-cost competitor alternative to the CBOE VIX Index. Unlike the VIX, whose value is derived from 30-day options on the S&P 500, the Spikes Index is calculated using 30-day options on the SPDR S&P 500 ETF, ticker SPY. Definitely something worth watching. From across the pond in European markets this morning, the European Union slashes its growth forecast for the major economies of Europe and warns that Brexit and the deceleration in Chinese economic growth are threats to make the economic outlook for the Euro-region economies worse. The Bank of England cut its growth forecast for the UK economy after warning about damage to the UK domestic economy from Brexit and warns of a drop in investment. 4Q results for European corporates raises worries about mounting corporate profit risk for calendar 2019, as analysts are observing that reported earnings growth of positive 5.7% would be 35% lower if the energy sector is removed. Just as a point of reference, energy stocks make up little less than 6% of the broad market stocks Europe 600. Looking at overnight trading in Asia, the overnight fall in the Japanese topics was the largest single-day drop in over a month for the Japanese broad market index. Japanese stocks closed down with disappointing earnings results weighing on investor sentiment. From our popular stocks trending in the news segment, SunTrust and BB&T announced they are merging in an all-stock deal. The merger will be valued at roughly $60 billion and will create the sixth largest bank in the U.S., both banks said in a joint statement that the merger will deliver roughly $1.6 billion in annual cost savings by calendar year 2022. Chipotle reports third quarter 2019 adjusted EPS of $1.72, being consensus of $1.39. Chipotle fiscal third quarter 2019 revenue came in at $1.23 billion, matching consensus of $1.119 billion. Chipotle same-store sales grew at 6.1%, well above market forecast of 4.5%. GoPro reports four-quarter adjusted EPS of $0.26, cents, in line with market forecast of $0.26. Cents. GoPro fourth quarter revenue came in at roughly $377 million, beating consensus of $374 million by a slight touch. Twitter shares are sliding after the company gives calendar 1Q 2019 revenue guidance of roughly $715 to $775 million, the midpoint of which misses consensus of $766.1 million. Twitter announces calendar 4Q 2018 adjusted EPS of $0.31, cents, while consensus was for $0.25. Cents. Revenue came in at roughly $909 million, while analysts were expecting $866.7 million for 4Q. If you found this video helpful or informative, Follow us on Twitter or subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to check out Quantumize.com for your full market preview for stocks, options, ETFs, and cryptos, and to find out what trades our AI quant models like this morning.